I'm Stephanie Cole from Stephanie Cole Creations and today I'm going to be doing a short video um, to explain a little bit how I do paintings with uh, golden absorbent ground and also golden high flow acrylics. Um, just putting out a short video, uh, some have requested to know like how I work with these to get the result that I do so I'm hoping it works out today. Um, so I'll be working with um, red, magenta, yellow and green gold. A little bit of burnt sienna and also carbon black. So to get started this is like a scrap piece down here of, um, can't see it very well because of the glare from the light, of paper that I can test my colors out on and I've got a few of these containers which are just like empty creme, recycled creme brulee containers from the grocery store um, that are all uniform and they're perfect for mixing up paint. A couple of bigger brushes, some natural sponges. I got these at Becerra's for quite um, quite cheap and I also have I don't know if I'll end up using these but I also have some Reeves uh, there we go watercolor tubes as well and the canvas I'm using which I will show you uh, in the next segment is a recycled canvas and what I've done is it's got some texture from a previous painting and I've just gone ahead and put like two really good coats um, all over end to end not really down the sides just the surface of the canvas and it's a long rectangular canvas. I'm not really exactly sure the measurements, but about this uh, this high and maybe like a meter and a little bit long. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna mix up the colors and then I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. I've tested a little bit as I went along and I have my four colors that I wanna primarily work with right here. And I'm keeping these ones nearby because what I like to do is once I drop in this color, I like to, or we'll brush it on, or however I want to apply it, I like to go in by hand and just add a few drops and mix it around, as I'll show you. And so this is the recycled canvas I have. It's quite long. And as you can see, it's kind of got these like little lines and bumps and textures, and you can see um, a little bit of the paint showing through underneath. A bit of reddish tones, which I think will go well with these colors uh, and I like the textured effect so we'll start painting and see how it goes.
go. That's the first one. Okay, so, so far you can kind of see I've got like a really big wash going here with a few different combined colors and I started out with the like the lighter layers. So like the uh, the yellow and the green and the, uh, yeah, basically the yellow and green. And then after that I went in and added the reddish color um, and I'm kind of doing, this is kind of like fall inspired um, theme I guess you could say. And so now what I want to do is go in back with the little bottles and either add directly from this bottle into the painting or just make a really concentrated version of it and use a smaller paintbrush to uh, drop it in. So we'll do that. Add a few drops. Pretty generous. I try not to be too stingy, but Sorry, I'm a little bit new to trying to do camera angles and stuff. I'm not a pro by any means. There we go. So, just mix it around. So I just cut this with water and actually I had mixed some of the uh, Golden High Flow with the Reeves paints as well. Just because I wasn't quite getting like that punchy color I wanted and this is so like liquidy and the tubes are more like pasty so I just found I was able to get a little bit better consistency for like what I was looking for. And so now I'll just go into the painting and drop in the color where I feel I want to add it. Where I want it to have like this burst of color and have it kind of meld together or punch it up like the green almost completely disappeared in this corner so i'm just gonna throw sorry you probably can't see that just throw the water because it's still fluid and it's sitting on top of everything so that's the nice thing about this medium i find is really cool like it's it is abstract so like here and i'm just gonna drop actual little bursts of green here and there Maybe one down here, just to have it kind of blend a bit, make an interesting pop of color. And so this looks really wet. It's almost like, I don't know if you guys can tell on the screen, but it's like pooling here in the middle. And so because I did two coats of the absorbent ground, I find it will absorb a lot. But if you, now you may notice I've kind of jammed all these little paper towels down here underneath because it was starting to like, the paint was starting to run over the edge. So it's better if you can, if you are going to do something like this, to try and find obviously a flat surface. My basement, this is my basement studio. Um, it's not perfect, but it's what I've got. And uh, I just kind of adjust as I go like that. And I'm just going to drop a little more green color in and let it let it kind of go and actually maybe I'll take the burnt sienna and do the same thing down in this corner into the red a little bit and just fan out a little as well take some water dilute it and then you can also do things like you can you can take the sponges and you can like lift some of it off the actual canvas as well that can make like a really neat look too like it I mean it will dry so how it looks when it's wet is not the way it's gonna look when it's dry just so you know but that's kind of the fun of it to me it's almost like well it's abstract so it doesn't have to look like a particular thing but it's also a lot of fun because you get all kinds of surprising effects 
when you go ahead and blend. So there I just added a bit more yellowy tones here at the bottom because I had like a really big dark. I had added, so I did a bunch of red and then I did burnt sienna and then I was feeling like it's just too dark. So, and then I have like a, there we go. I don't like super white blotches showing through. So I have a few down at the other end of the canvas you can see there. So I'm just gonna go with my brush and just tap around it. And you see they just pretty much completely disappear. So this green I've added is kind of like whoosh taking over. So what I can do is I can prop it up a little and it will move a little bit back to the edge. And I can take my brush and I can like tease out these bits here if I want. Kind of like how that's looking though. And it's actually kind of mustardy color. It, on this camera it's looking more green than it actually is in real life. So I might just add a little more straight up green to this area. And let's blend it in. Yeah. Blend it out and blend it. So yeah, the color is really intense right now, but these blooms are just gonna, they are just gonna like fade out to be so light later on when it dries. So I've never actually done this um, medium technique or whatever you want to call it before on such a large, well for me a large canvas. I know many people work with large canvases. For me, I've only done it on like little um, four by fours or five by fives. So this is kind of, this is really different for me. So I'm liking this a lot. It's really different. Uh, and we'll be back. done and uh, you can probably see beside me this painting is quite um, bright it looks really punchy with the color and it is very wet I've put a lot of water um, on the actual canvas itself with the high flow acrylics and also um, a little bit of the Reeves watercolor um, paint uh, so what I'll do is I'll also post um, a short video or like a close-up so you can see the difference between when it's wet and how it actually dries and then how the paint behaves with the uh, golden absorbent ground underneath. Anyways, thanks very much for watching. I had fun painting with you guys today and I hope you enjoyed this video.